Make some quinoa with uh, chicken stock and a little tomato sauce and the onions, peppers, carrots, celery, mushrooms and garlic and a little uh, dry sweet basil for flavor. So we're going to start by cooking the quinoa in the stock and tomato sauce first then saute all the vegetables and then mix everything together. So it's kind of simple doing the quinoa just measure it put in the tomato sauce or tomato basil or whatever you your tomato sauce, my tomato sauce any kind of tomato sauce just to be a little different and then then the chicken stock or water if you prefer And that's it. As soon as this comes to a boil, which will be very soon because the chicken stock was hot, then I'm going to just transfer it onto a very small burner and simmer and let it finish about 10 minutes or whatever it takes to just completely dry and have the quinoa absorb all the liquid so it's like one to two ratio okay so we do have a boil and we don't want to reduce it too much so we'll just cover it put it back on a slow burner and then we're going to go about cutting up all the vegetables and sauteing them now while we're waiting for the quinoa I had time to dice up everything and now we're going to saute it holding back on the green peppers until the very end so they'll stay green and be a little firm everything else here we're going to cook the garlic is in there so we're going to put a little olive oil or butter depending on what you prefer or another kind of oil peanut oil whatever whatever you like so we go with the uh, and we're going to season this I have that on a high flame. So we're going to put pepper, black pepper. If you like to use hot sauce, you can do that. Sea salt. basil which really tastes almost like fresh but not quite it's a very good uh, I buy this at a place that only specializes in herbs and ships them around so on the internet and everything there is always fresh So the quinoa is just over here, as you can see, nice low flame, I guess a couple of more minutes and that'll be done. I'm going to lower this just a little bit, 
I don't need a real high flame. So that's sauteing. And while that's sauteing, I should write down the amount of basil I use, salt. As you know, these recipes I make as I go. So, uh, pepper, salt, basil. This is kind of quick. And this is granola takes about 10, 12 minutes to cook. As soon as that starts, well, I, I'm sure I dice up the vegetables a little quicker than the average person. So you would have all of this ready, already diced up, ready to go. You can also cover that if you want. This will quicken the cooking and keep it from browning too much. The steam will stay in there, it'll cook. Now it'll only take a couple of minutes. And then we'll throw in the uh, peppers just about towards the end. And you can put any kind of seasoning in here you want, whatever you prefer. If you like thyme, oregano, basil. The only reason why I'm putting basil in there, I kind of connect basil with tomato. And since I'm using tomato in there, that's why I did that. Otherwise, I would use thyme. I love the flavor of thyme. Well, this is making a lot of noise, and I'm sure you can hear that. So we don't need it so high. This is a good vegetarian uh, meal. Just this with the granola, except uh, you wouldn't use chicken stock. You'd use water. It's the only difference. Now let's see how the quinoa is doing. Very close. Now if I'm lucky, the quinoa and the vegetables will be done at the same time. I like that I put the tomato in there. This has to dry out. And this has to have just a little bit more olive oil in it. Now what you can do is you can hold up on the olive oil and then when you mix everything together squirt a little virgin olive oil right into it. The taste of the virgin olive oil is much better when you add it at the end, like in pastas. So I don't cook with it as much, unless I have a lot laying around. These vegetables feel good, soft. So now we're going to add the peppers. And give it another minute. peppers are nice and green and then I'm going to dice up I shouldn't say dice up I'm going to slice up uh, also a little bit of scallions for looks and for taste so that will take a minute Just shut this off, the vegetables, that's done, and we're going to wait about 3-4 minutes for the uh, quinoa. Found some black olives, so we're going to slice those in quarters, we're going to throw that in there also. Great color, 
and taste. So I can add the uh, olives, which I quartered. These are pitted olives, black. You can use uh, green stuff too if you want. Yep, that's going to look good. I could put some curry in there too, or some uh, cumin, but uh, I'm not, but you can. So let's see how we're doing in the uh, quinoa area. Still a little moist. Let it dry up. Now that those little pearls of wisdom have fluffed up, and if you can see, let me get closer to them. See the little white, like little legs sticking out? All done and fluffy. So now we're going to add the vegetables. And along with the vegetables, I think I'm going to also throw some almonds in there. This is like a soft mixture of edible and I like to have crunchiness to go with it. So I'm going to toss in there just an eighth of a cup of these toasted almonds which I always keep in the freezer and every day just take a little bit and eat it even if I have nothing to go with it the temptation is great to watch this to look at it to see how it transformed into these little puffy things so it was difficult for me to after the cooking time was over when I stopped hearing the water boiling to leave it for another 10 minutes was difficult so that's it mm. and the scallions the flavors of everything worked well in here the ratio of the vegetables to the quinoa is good especially what I like mm. is the tomato I don't see many recipes using tomato in there like tomato sauce but that's what I did hope you enjoy